in continuation to the previous screencast video file about the organic matter decomposition here we are going to see in detail about the degradation of the other components of the organic matter such as a pectin starch lignin chitin and finally a comparison table about the various organic matter and their monomer their enzyme action and the organisms involved in its degradation pectin which is also referred as a pectic substances is one of the abundant polymer that have been present in the middle lamella of the primary cell wall its main function is to cement the plant cells together to form into tissues pectins are initial polysaccharide substances that could be encountered by a decomposing organisms in non lignified or weakly lignified plant tissues thus on removal of pectin it will expose other polysaccharides such as xylem cellulose which we have seen in detail in the previous video can be effectively degrade upon the removal of pectin thus pectin is a polymer which is made up of galactronic acid in which various percentage of the carboxyl groups could be methylated in between the alpha 14d linked methylated galactronic acid residues some other sugars such as ramanos could also occurs in interval within a chain other neutral sugars that could be come across there in the pectin chain includes arabinose and galactose two broad category of pectic enzymes have been identified and they play a major role there in the pectin degradation it includes pectin esterases that are involved in the deesterification function on the pectins and the other one is depolymerases that are involved in the degradation of the galactouronan backbone chain of the pectin pectin esterases can also be referred as a pectin methyl esterase or pectase their main function is to deesterify the pectin on deesterification of pectin methanol could be easily released there from the leaves the other molecule that have been formed there by the pectin esterase action is a pectic acid you need to remember a point that this pectin esterase activity could be naturally occurring there in the higher plants when they are in a living condition also its main function is to own out the old pectin with formation of new pectin and growth of the plant system so on this process methanol could be released that methanol can be even trapped by other plant growth promoting bacteria such as a methylobacterium which were also referred as a ppfms that is pink pigmented facultative methylotrophic organisms the other enzyme that is involved there in the pectin degradation is pectic depolymerases they acts on non esterified galactouronan type pectins here pectic depolymerases are of two types one is of a hydrolases another one is of a lyases in type next we look at the dominant group of organism that have been involved there in the pectin degradation it includes ervinia arthrobacter pseudomonas and bacillus fungal pectin degraders comprise of aspergillus rhizopus fusarium sclerotina and penicillium the next component of the organic matter that could be subjected for degradation is starch it is a plant polymer synthesized from glucose and it is stored in plastic as grains of 1 to 100 nanometer in diameter it consists of two glucose polymers that is it can be of amylose or amylopectin in nature amylose contains long unbranched chains of alpha 14 glucose units in most plants amylose accounts for 30 percentage of the total starch the next important component of the starch is amylopectin it is of a similar structure that has been linked at every 20 to 30 glucose residues by alpha 16 glycosidic bonds the enzymes that are involved there in the starch degradation are collectively referred as amylases it consists of alpha amylases that catalyzes the cleavage of glucosyl bonds this in turn results in the production of a molecule called as a dextrin that could be further degraded by other enzymes next important group of amylase enzyme is a beta amylase that cleaves the maltose residues from the non reducing end of the starch molecule and the final degradation of the starch could be accomplished by the beta glycosidase enzyme 
the next molecule of the organic matter which we are going to see in detail is lignin it is the third most common component of the plant residues and it is predominantly present there in the woody plants that constitutes the main portion of the forest ecosystems it is an integral component of the cell walls and it increases with the age of the plant because the chemical composition of the lignin varies with the plant species it's not possible to provide a specific structure that could be representing a lignin type the basic building block of lignin is a phenyl propane unit that consists of hydroxylated 6 carbon aromatic benzene ring that is a phenol compound and a 3 carbon linear side chain that is of a propanoid in nature the r side chains of this particular phenyl propane ring can be anything of a sinapyl alcohol coniferyl alcohol and coumaryl alcohol lignin typically composed of 500 to 600 phenyl propane units which are randomly condensed units of substantial cross linkage the actual details of lignification is poorly understood that is we cannot able to understand how lignin has been polymerized so this automatically creates a problem in understanding about how it is degraded by the organisms lignin is thought to be a cross link to hemicellulose via certain cell wall protein called as a extensin the dense nature hydrophobicity property and non specific structure of the lignin making it as a toughest molecule to be get degraded by the enzymes the degradation or decomposition of the lignin begins with the oxidation and removal of the exposed side chains in the second step of the degradation it is mainly the depolymerization process which results in the liberation of individual phenolic units with the side chain once this phenolic units are released further metabolized by the microbial communities if hydroxyl groups are existing in the adjacent carbons of the phenolic ring the ring can be easily cleaved through ortho or meta cleavage the lignin decomposition is a part of the secondary metabolism there in the microorganism and it is not an inducible phenomena the point here they are stressing is if a cellulose is enriched there in the soil system automatically the organism gene sources could be induced for degradation of the cellulose by secretion of the cellulase enzyme whereas such kind of a enzyme induction could not be possible here for the lignin decomposition next we look at the organisms that are involved there in the lignin degradation first one gram negative aerobic bacteria that belongs to pseudomonadesi nisiriaci and certain common actinomycetes like nocardia and streptomyces can able to degrade the lignin however compared to that of the fungi the lignin degradation by the bacteria is a very meager thing fungi plays a large role and the efficient lignin degradation thus in nature their role is very important there in the carbon cycling in an environment three different groups of fungi could be involved there in the lignin degradation they are soft rot fungi brown rot fungi and white rot fungi soft rot fungi comprise of ascomyces members such as the ketomium and pirusia that are involved in an efficient degradation the next one is the brown rot fungi which generally lack a ring cleaving enzyme but they can readily degrade the hemicellulose and cellulose of an intact wood they can further modify and degrade the lignin through demethylation as well as removal of the methylated side chains producing an hydroxylated form of phenols this oxidation of lignin gives a brown color and that is the reason why this fungi are referred as a brown rot fungi example includes poria as well as gliophilum the third group is a white rot fungi they are most active lignin degrading organism several thousand species of white rot fungi have been already discovered they mainly belong to basidiomyces as well as ascomyces an important basidiomycete fungi that have been extensively studied for lignin degradation is panerocket chrysoporium and other white rot fungi that can able to degrade lignin are coriolus versicolor pleurotus ostriotus 
and even oyster mushroom can able to degrade the lignin molecules. The effective degradation of the white rot fungi could be achieved by the lignolytic enzymes they secrete. They will be oxidatively cleaving the phenyl propane units. They demethylate and convert the aldehyde groups to carboxyl group and cleave the aromatic rings. This results in the complete destruction of the lignin to carbon dioxide in water. This could be easily visualized by the white color formation after the complete degradation of the lignin. Finally, we look at the type of enzymes that have been involved there in the lignin degradation. Three classes of extracellular lignin degrading enzymes are involved in the degradation. It includes phenol oxidase, lacases, lignin peroxidases and manganese oxidases. Lacase and manganese peroxidase cannot directly oxidize non-phenolic structures which consumes about 70 to 90 percentage of the lignin. Whereas Lignin peroxidase can oxidize both phenolic as well as non-phenolic lignin structures. So, working together of these enzymes can help in significant degradation of the lignin. The next important molecule of the organic matter is the chitin. Whatever we have seen earlier are all are mainly of a plant origin. Whereas, chitin is the one which is reaching there in the soil system as a cell wall of certain soil dwelling fungi that is most of the fungi will have chitin in their cell wall apart from that exoskeleton of the arthropod as well as crustaceans that have been living in the soil can able to shed their skin which serves as a chitin source there in the soil 3 to 25 percentage of the fungal biomass may be constituting chitin on the dry weight basis it is a long chain linear biopolymer which is made up of a monomeric unit called as a N-acetyl glucosamine that are linked together by beta-1,4 linkages. In soil, the dominant chitin degrader appear to be the actinomyces including streptomyces and nocardia. Finally, whatever thing I have explained so far, I have made into a tabular form in which the molecule and it is made up of what kind of a monomer and what are the enzymes that have been involved and on a final column what are the organisms that have been involved in the degradation has been provided. It is totally a self-explanatory kind of a thing. You yourself can be able to go through this thing. The same has been available there in the notes page of our website also. From there you can able to download and you can just revise the content.